continues with Lynn Bowie live at the Inner Harbor with more on the excitement as the team gets ready to hit the field. Lynn? Mary, fans tell me they are so excited for the new season. They can't wait to see the new players take the field, and they are confident the Ravens can make it two in a row. <laughs> The reigning Super Bowl champs are back on the field. Training camp kicked off this week. Our expectations are high, and we don't care if that comes with pressure or if it's not pressure, whatever it is. You know, we expect to win. And Forbes magazine just ranked the Ravens the 19th most valuable sports team in the world. In the world of sports, the old axiom is winning fixes all ills. So we got a winner right now. And that's something we want to ride for as long as we can. The franchise value is up from $1.09 billion to $1.157 billion. Hello, Wild Bills. At Wild Bills on Bel Air Road, football fans are fired up. I cannot wait, especially when we play Pittsburgh and we beat Pittsburgh so bad. And that's all I look forward to. And then we, hopefully we have a good team. Excited for the Ravens. Um, after going to the Super Bowl in New Orleans, I'm ready for the third one. So bring on New York. Pens, sandals, socks. The store is stocked for the new season. A couple days before the game, people get their gear on because they want to they want to go out to the restaurants and they want to, you know, they want to look right. So so we have to be ready too. Wild Bills was packed during the playoffs. The Ravens momentum helps businesses like this one. Shops, restaurants, hotels, they all benefit from the team's popularity. You're going to get more people coming into the city for major games, both people who are already Ravens fans, but also people who are coming to watch their team play the Ravens. That's more money for the city and more tax revenue. That means merchandise sales and sponsorship dollars go up. Thank you, Ravens. Thank you, Raven, so much because uh, our business was terrific this year. A touchdown for the city of Baltimore. Another economic impact is that ticket prices will likely go up at secondary sources like StubHub.com and eBay. So expect to pay more if you're going to a game this season. Reporting live in the Inner Harbor, Lynn Bowie, WJZ Eyewitness News. Yeah, that's the part that we don't like, Lynn. Thank you.